Good evening and welcome to my car. It's quite cold. The weather's actually been quite nice for about a week now, but holy moly, it's cold in my car right now. Um, so I will make this quick. I have just been to see the unbearable weight of massive talent. It was very silly. <laughs> <laughs> that's that the last two films I've been to see have been really silly films, but that's okay because sometimes you want silliness. Um if you don't know what this film is about, um it stars Nicolas Cage as Nicolas Cage. Um so he's playing a, a version of himself where his career isn't going why is someone honking in the car park? Um his career isn't going as he would like He's a bit washed up. He's a bit desperate. Um, he's divorcing his wife, who's played by the, oh man, the utterly magnificent Sharon Hogan. What a woman. Um, so yeah, he's got a wife and a teenage daughter who he's not got a great relationship with. So he's a li he's in not in a great place. So he's playing an exaggerated version of himself, whose career's on skids a bit. His agent's played by um, Neil Patrick Harris, who I also love. And... He gets this offer whereby a very rich, eccentric man in Spain called Javi wants Nick to go down and appear at his birthday party. And at first he's not going to do it, but he's got debts and he's like, you know what, I'm just going to do it. So off he flies to Mallorca, Mallorca, one of them, one of the Spains, one of those places. Off he goes, scenery is beautiful. At first he doesn't really sort of want to get involved, but then he kind of bonds with Javi, who is played by Pedro Pascal. And most people will know Pedro Pascal as the Mandalorian. Um, he was also the villain in Wonder Woman 1984. He's a cracking actor. I really like him. Um, so the film is about... <laughs> it's so silly. So, yeah, he's down there. He's hanging out with Javi. He's being... Nick F and Cage doing his thing and then he gets intercepted by the CIA and um, so there's two CIA agents down there who are trying to take down this uh, head of a gun cartel they tell him that Javi is this man and ask for his help to bring the man down so that's your premise but all along this bond is forming between Nick and Javi then they're trying to come up with a screenplay together. There's also a kidnapped girl involved as well. It's, oh man, it's it's silly. It's, it's really daft, but it's enjoyably daft. Now, I'm not the biggest Nicolas Cage fan. In fact, I find him quite annoying in a lot of things. Um, and if he does say this, I'm ever so sorry, but it's just how I feel. However, Nick Cage is one of the two leads in... My favourite action film of all time, my favourite action film of all time is The Rock, starring Nicolas Cage and Sean Connery from, what, 96, I think? Um, and it's a really big, noisy action film, and I, I love it. Like, I love it so much. And when people talk about Nick Cage and action, they talk about Con Air, and they talk about Face Off, and they might even talk about Gone in 60 Seconds. But for me... It is all about The Rock. Him, Sean Connery, Banter, Ed Harris, David Morse. Yes, please. I love it so much. And he's perfect in that because he's, he's kind of playing the... Well, he's a science nerd, isn't he? He's kind of a... He's an FBI agent, but not a field agent. And it just works so well. So, like, I love him in that. And I've seen him in other stuff where I haven't minded him, but I think he can be very over the top and very silly as a private person or rather like away from the cameras it's quite odd but to see him in this like really send up that persona and that character almost of of nick cage he even occasionally sees a version of himself called nicky um who is like nick cage to the extreme um but yeah, just to see him sort of poking fun at himself and riffing on it. And it was really good fun. Um, it's not too long. I think it was about an hour 40. So, you know, it, it didn't drag on and it got quite action packed. Um, 
it's it is properly bananas and it's obviously like a film within a film and it's quite knowing and a bit nudge nudge wink wink but i, I can't say i didn't enjoy it because i did and again it's that thing with the lost city where you go do you know what we've all been through a lot like we've had a rough time let's just go to the cinema and be entertained by nick cage playing himself opposite pedro pascal and did i mention sharon hogan oh sharon hogan i love sharon hogan so much um yeah it was enjoyably silly it was a nice distraction for i was gonna say a couple of hours it wasn't even that like i say it was just over an hour and a half which is a good length um nick cage was very good at playing himself which actually isn't quite as easy as you'd think and uh yeah a splendid time was had by all totally bananas but very enjoyable Thank you very much, Nicholas Cage, uh, and everybody else for a splendid evening. Hope you've enjoyed this review. Um, if you like what I do, like, subscribe, share, all that jazz. And uh, I'll be back soon, no doubt. Okay, Katie out.